Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Astronaut Nature. So yeah, my name is Rol and I'm trying to sound really cool here with my second language and everything. It's impossible to avoid the podcast dynamic after you consume a few of them. You just try to sound like them because they're fucking awesome, man. Some people know how to do this thing and it's such a reliable little way to be as amateur as you want to be. To begin with, I had to first of all clarify the fact that in the first episode I referred like three times to the length of the episode as a 30 minutes installment. <laughs> and it was not that long and I don't think I will try to make it that long. I think that it's gonna be just like the first one. The first one was 11 minutes. I think it's a good length, but I think we can go a little bit longer than that because sometimes the content is good enough to do so. I believe that that's the case on this one, but I can sort of like commit to never go beyond 30 minutes. So that's gonna be the limit. If I am talking and I go beyond that, I will edit this thing. That means that if I don't reach that particular point, I am not editing this. There is a way to do this without the need for constant editing. And that is a good app <laughs> on your phone. But really it is, in my case, being aware of uh, the practicality of whatever is my dynamic versus what capacity in a technical type of uh, situation do I have to actually invest more time than the time that I invest recording this thing in post-production which is fucking boring and if I had to do that I will take forever like I've been doing and this is not the first try in the case of the entire idea of the podcast I've been flirting with this for years in a way and then giving up and saying no whatever and I didn't know why I wanted to do so I do remember somebody telling me literally 15 years ago that I should do a podcast and at that time I was like okay well and I did like to know that I did like to know the possibility I wasn't crazy about it but I did not have the proper content and I'm glad that right now that I do absolutely believe in the information and the amount of ideas and the quality of the stuff that I am considering. I believe in what I have to say and I appreciate that you can maybe let me warm up a little bit as I'm doing this because I do want to feel like I'm talking to a friend. I do want to turn this into a conversation but right now let's just move to the subject of this episode and the subject of this episode is you know what? I will tell you in a few. Stick around, it's gonna be good. So we take a little break here, something I didn't do in the first one. Little break, and I'll be back. Probably just after a little sound or something, we'll be back. Okay, so here we go with the second part of this episode of The Astronaut of Nature. We are going to try to keep this as entertaining as possible, but I'm not going to stress about it. And um, now I want to tell you exactly why you're going to hear noises in the background, because I am actually doing something as I am recording this. No, I am not invested my entire self in the recording. I'm sharing <laughs> my brain with other activities that I am doing because otherwise this might become boring and if it becomes boring I'm not gonna be able to do it and I want to do it so let's do this you're gonna hear me making some order I am doing that in the place where I make art, a little atelier, a little whatever. Just a room in my house where I use my sometimes excessive free time and I do that thing that makes me feel like I am an artist as I'm trying to create sculptures, paintings and stuff out of recycling materials and uh, investigate my relationship with multimedia, trying to make some music, recording this podcast, etc. Sort of like a man cave, but the art man cave with that 
descriptions sounded like I am a very talented human being, but sometimes the stuff that I do is just crap. <laughs> and sometimes it's fucking brilliant, just like everybody else, because talent is not <laughs> copyrighted. It's like uniqueness. We all have it. <laughs> That's very unique. But it's good if you see it from a very practical point of view. Everything is good in that particular way. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen here. I wanna try to explain to you one more time why I decided to call this podcast The Astronaut Nature. For that particular thing, I will take you in a journey. I will try to see if I can set you up in a script. You're gonna be the protagonist of a very particular fictional story and you're gonna tell me how does it feel to be that particular character and what is the relationship that a particular story has with everything else. And when I say everything else, I mean everything else, as in everything that exists, all right? So let's see if I can take your ass somewhere else for a little bit, here we go. So let's say you wake up in a party in somebody's house. You do not know how you got there and you don't even remember the reason why anything at any point. But eventually you communicate with other people that is already there in that party and of course you don't remember how you got there, you barely remember who you are. However, you don't know that you have a name or something like that, that's not important. Somebody else start uh, somehow calling you something, just some sort of a sound that ended up being your name in order to identify who the fuck you are in the middle of all this, because there are more people. And the funny thing is that when you ask them because you could probably ask if you wake up in a party that you don't remember how you got there or anything. You will maybe freak out and go like, well, what is this? What am I doing here? And you are in this situation and the first person that you can actually interact with tells you that they don't know how you got there because they don't know how they got there. And you're like, what? But anyways, since it's a problem that is collective, you sort of chill a little bit, um, decide to gather a few other souls and make a plan. Because that's kind of like what you would do in a situation like that, right? Yeah, there might be other people that it would be somehow hard to explain how freaky the whole thing is, but eventually you will understand that each one of those characters that showed up in that place because that's how they tell you it happened. None of them know where they came from, why are they there, why their entire selves is invested in this strange situation. It's not like they're watching this on the screen. They're actually there. This is not rehearsal. So you are there. And all of a sudden you notice that there's a group of people that looks like they've been there for a while. And the only thing they're doing, I guess, in order to not be all the time freaking out, is entertaining themselves somehow. It's okay. I mean, it's a, it's a way to not go crazy. In this place where you wake up, yeah, there's music, there's food, there's a lot of things. Let's say, just for the sake of the example, that that's kind of like the way it is evolving. But nobody knows where anything comes from or anybody, for that matter. They do tell you, though, how they have seen some of them disappear. Just like they showed up, nobody knows how. They also tell you that eventually, at a point, you might just end up in a situation of being really, really lonely or alone. And you're gonna be not enjoying the company of anybody and in a violent way or not, maybe in a very peaceful way, you will disappear, you will die or you will just vanish. And you're like, what the fuck? I don't remember how I came here. You're telling me that nobody knows how the fuck to get out of this, but they do know that we might just perish. 
and there's no two ways about that. That's how this shit ends. Yes, they tell you. It might be just peacefully or it might be just like a, a violent rape. <laughs> Something like that. And you're like, so what the fuck are we gonna do? There's nothing you can do. If you were in a situation like that, how crazy would it feel to be part of that? You would try everything. You will not go down without trying everything. Well, funny thing is that that's exactly what life is. And somehow along the way, we have managed to distract ourselves and to ignore how horrible the things are towards the end. If you're lucky to go horribly towards the end, because the other options like go suddenly, really, really fast, and not <laughs> lasting a long time in the party. None of the options is good. And you know what? If you consider a basic, brutally honest, rational way of thinking, a logical argument, something that you can test towards the end of the fucking times and put your finger and say, how is this possible? You might just find something else than resignation. Because no matter how much of a scientific mind you might have, no matter how much you tell me that you believe or you don't believe, as long as you think that there are things that are unavoidable, even though your mind tells you, I don't want to do that. And by your mind, I mean that thing that you did not bring with you, it just happened to be part of your awakening in this party. You might find something else if you really dig the... Well, I found something else. I found a way to basically replenish the whole thing. And in order for it to make it work or to make it relevant, I might need to share it with you. That's how it works, through the exchange of information. So I did find something that I cannot contradict and is fucking awesome to share it with you. And that will create something else in you that I really hope you eventually will share with me. And I will tell you what it is, but not right now. That's gonna be in the next episode. I also need a cliffhanger, and this is it. Thank you so much for being around. i talk to you guys soon. Next one is gonna be a conversation with somebody about this subject, and I will reveal the first part of my new found glory. It's fucking awesome what I have to tell you, but I don't want to do it now. You're gonna have to schedule something, you're gonna have to subscribe to something, you're gonna have to do whatever the fuck it takes in order to continue listening to the astronaut nature. Be good, be awesome, be whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye, bye.